I'm Charlie Hyde. I'm president and CEO of the Benjamin Harrison Presidential Site. And um, we are the home of the 23rd president of the United States, uh, the only president elected from the state of Indiana. And we have a phenomenal facility and collection here. So we have the original home that was built by Benjamin Harrison and his wife in 1874, and it is filled with a collection of over 10,000 artifacts that look at the life of an American president. So what we explored was um, working to digitize our collection itself. Um, what that has meant for museums and for libraries over the past decade has really meant 2D materials, so those flat materials and paintings. Um, we wanted to go well beyond that and actually look at the 3D objects and how we can capture them in a compelling and significant and engaging way so that users can actually go onto our website, they can download and 3D print from our collection. Um, that was an important first step, but even beyond that, we wanted to find ways that educators could, um, could access and utilize the collection. And so uh, we're really excited about a partnership that we've developed um, with the Indiana School for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Um, where we're literally taking the collection and putting it in the hands of their students. Um, so what that means is, um, again, in partnership with them, um, selecting objects from our collection that the students um, can utilize as part of a touch box. Um, this pilot program actually puts a touch box in front of each student. And so our educators uh, work with um, the students and with the teachers um, at the school um, to explain what these five objects are and how they share the larger story of an American presidency. Some of what you're seeing here, uh, this is actually a, a 3D scan and print of Benjamin Harrison's Civil War sword. So he was a volunteer soldier, a citizen soldier um, during the American Civil War for the Union cause. And so he started off as second lieutenant and by the end of the war had become uh, breveted as a brigadier general. And so this is a partial print, but you really get a sense of like the, the heft of the sword and the, the feel of it and in, in the grip. Um, this is a miniaturized version of what's called the Centennial Cane. So obviously the original was, it would have been much larger, but this is a folk art piece, um, hand carved and given to Benjamin Harrison as Centennial President. So he was president of the United States 100 years after George Washington. Um, so it has the faces of all the presidents from George Washington through Benjamin Harrison carved into it. Um, if you look at the 3D scan on our website, you can actually see the names of all the presidents and it's a favorite of students because there are misspellings on here. So instead of President Madison, you have President Manderson and things like that. So it's just a, a charming folk art piece, again, a gift for a president. Um, you also see then uh, representations of Benjamin Harrison. Um, this was in preparation for um, Harrison's memorial, a presidential memorial. Uh, you also see examples of some of the other innovative ways that we're working to literally put the collection in the hands of students and find ways that um, this can be used for project-based learning um, and for general curriculum enrichment. So we're just trying to be very thoughtful about how we utilize the collection and give educators opportunities to, to leverage it more effectively within their classrooms. So we see this pilot program as, uh, as a beginning and we think that there's great potential going forward.